I don't know what to say other than let's just uh, get started with this uh, thing that no one's probably watching. But uh, it's an enjoyable day, I say. A pain tune too. And uh, the 180 degree stream out of nowhere of Mr. Shirtless Jared in his shirtless form. This isn't even my final form. Them two spar shot pros though. <laughs> oh, covering Beko right there. What in the world just happened? No, get up there. Okay, that is that is not good. We didn't even get started with the match. We're already going downhill. Okay. Um, how am I going to approach them? They got that one uh, regular Splatter Shot Pro with his amazing Ink Storm special. Nice. Low ways. Okay, come on. We gotta at least get some kind of victory. We don't even have much time until the maps and modes rotate and all that kind of stuff. So I'd rather not uh, waste a lot of time. Come on. Oh no. Oh my god. No. Uh, well, this is why I have quick respawn. Dang. Pop, pop, pop that crud. Just pop that crud. Just pop that crud. Go, 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 go. Yes! Oh! <laughs> Whoa, okay. Man. Who knew that would work? Oh, hey. Hey, 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 hey. There's some people over there, and I am not accepting that. Oh, wow. I guess those 10 missiles were just a distraction. Oh, the real deal, which was the range blaster. The custom range blaster in particular. Oh, wait, everyone's dead. Oh, I just want to keep it on hold. All right. Jared, thoughts on the uh, Smash Direct? Um, at first, I was thinking it was a little bit over underwhelming, except for when they showed off Ken. I thought that was pretty cool. But then when they showed off that uh, world, world into light mode, or the world into light stuff, that is when my um, expectations jumped from, like, kind of low to incredibly high. Like, I guess maybe my expectations for other characters wasn't really that high, because I couldn't really think who were they going to add in the first place, but... The, I was not ready for the world of into light thing. That was... A big surprise for me and I did enjoy that <laughs> thankfully thankfully it was amazing Alright, I don't know how I'm gonna squeeze two matches within 10 minutes even though usually a match is about like 10 five minutes but like depending on what happens it may not just run like that so I better like speed things up a little bit Brrrring. This is my general set for my Kensa Splatter Shot. I was gonna do the Kensa Splatter Shot Pro, but I felt like Rainmaker with this weapon is just a little bit more helpful. But I mean, um, I guess in future terms, I could do. In future terms, I could do some um, Kensa Splatter Shot Pro stuff. I more of do it on uh, Tower Control and Clam Blitz, and I'm not really 100% for sure if I also do it on Splat Zones. It's. It's really a mix and mix between if I want to do it on Splat Zones or if I want to do it on, um, just not on Splat Zones in particular. But whatever, let's just get a move. What? Okay, I guess we got two, um, very high leveled people, very high experienced people on the other team. Two of them in particular. I really love how people with that with that high of experience are always just like picking like the most simplest weapons. Like you rarely see any of the ones with chargers. Or unless maybe that one is a charger. But seriously, like two top 500 players on the opposite team. I mean, I know I wanted this to end quick, but not in a way where we were going to lose it. Like look how far they just got. We just got started. I guess this is going to be a quick death. Oh my gosh. 
I also really like how they use quick respawn. <laughs> oh, you should probably get going. All right. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, my dude. I'm probably. I'm hoping that I would probably do a little bit more uh, Twitch streaming in the future. That's what I'm hoping. Now I don't guarantee it, obviously, but like I just hope I will do it in the future. Wow. Okay. Oh. Uh... Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Oh, this is what I call unfair. You're gonna pair up like two top 500 players on the opposite team, and we're stranded with nothing. You know, the difficulty didn't look that high either. It was like 2,280. I mean, I mean, technically it is high, but like in ter in standards of like having two top 500s, I just think that's a little low. Or maybe I always imagine like the power level to be like some sort of like scaling of how difficult uh, the match is gonna be but I think in terms of like having two top 500 players on the opposite team it should be a little bit more higher than that like 2300 probably no oh I killed some of my suction bombs I hit someone I don't know who I hit oh oh it was the custom range blaster I should have probably kept continuing on just shooting no, you know what we should do actually? We should Okay, never mind. I was I was gonna say we should pop it and see if we could like take as much map as possible. But I guess uh this can work too. And by work I mean just like just crumble on top of us. So this is why I like this weapon in particular. It feels like the most perfect weapon with ten missiles. I mean obviously ten missiles isn't really the best, but I feel like this is like right now like the best moment with ten missiles. Cause like it's new buff where it can like now hit the Rainmaker and now it's a little bit and now the most recent buff where it now fires a little bit faster. I really do like that. I almost died. I almost like ran into that dying. Alright, we gotta worry about them. Oh no. I don't want them to pass this general area. No! Okie dokie. What am I looking for? Um well, a lot of areas taking control. Oh my. <laughs> that was an out of nowhere hit. All right, I want to, like, take as much map as possible. This is a little ridiculous. The team that we got is, like, the most, like, generalized team you'll ever see. You got the custom range. I mean, I don't know about the custom range, but since not really a lot of people use that, but, like, you got other weapons, like the Tri Slosher. <laughs> them parry dooleys. You just got a lot of- Oh, wow, that, that's fantastic. Someone was just sitting right there for like a few seconds. I was gonna say, why are you move- Why are you like not moving? You're sitting there for the whole match, but then she went moving, I guess. But we're, I guess that's a GG by GG. I mean, that was- That was pretty unfair, game! This is pretty dang unfair! Put in top, like, three- No, two top 500 players on one team. Put it against us. That's kind of unfair. I mean, I know that these lobbies are genuinely ran randomized, so we're not gonna guarantee gonna get something fair, but like, that, I, th I think that's still a little bit unfair. You know what I'm saying? All right, if I could just squeeze in one more match. If I could just squeeze in one more match. If I can just squeeze in one more match. And yeah. <laughs> Wow, okay, let's let's do the same thing except this time it's just minus one of them apparently. Hopefully minusing one of them just does something. Cause geez Louise. It was super unfair. And we got a Kenza sloshing machine, so I think we'll be fine. Cause I know how powerful those things are. A little too powerful. What? That ink mine just threw me off. The doctor has the Glugadoolies. I looked at the uh, the Wikipedia thing about the Glugadoolies. Supposedly they were based off of actual like super glue or something. So I guess that's why they're called Glugadoolies and not Glogadoolies because it's like based off of glue. So you gotta get those two O's in to make it look sound like a U. I guess. Although we got a Kensa Splatter Shop Pro, I'm pretty sure that's gonna do some crud. Ah! 
Oh wow, they took out the whole team. Alright, this is bad. Uh, -na -na no, oh my god. Oh, this might be a loss. Oh my god. This is, oh my gosh, we're all dead again? Alright, so even though I was talking some nice stuff about the sloshing machine, this is... This is going very bad. It's the it's the doctor. It's the I swear it's the doctor. It's the doctor. It's the doctor that's making everything worse. They got 27 remaining until they get the knockout. We have like 72. They flipped our number around, so we can feel ashamed for it. I think that's a little bit mean, but okie dokie. No, there's a ball point. That's just great. Oh boy, we got to get that. Oh. My the darn rainmaker. We gotta get the darn rainmaker. It's gonna be really hard to if we're all gonna die like that fast. I'm not sure where to go. Cause I feel like they just know where I'm going at every corner. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa! She know where I am. She know where I am. She can't reach me though. That's the funny part. <gasps> no way, she reached me. What the freak? I swear she was not supposed to reach me. I just realized that a lot of her gear abilities is uh, swim speed and run speed. I can see why. Even though those are good gear abilities, I don't really find myself always holding the Rainmaker that often. So I don't see the point of like... Okay, well I guess I can't say that now since I'm holding it right now! Oh man, I was hoping like one of those shots would reach her. I guess not. Decrease her height so that the Rainmaker shots would reach her. I really love how, like, the jetpack or the inkjet, like, there's a, definitely a huge number of people who say inkjet is super powerful. They are absolutely not wrong. But let's all remember the time where inkjet was legitimately a broken special. Like, let's let's just let's let's all take a moment. Let's remember that time where you had where it was like a blaster, but just in the air, and you were just untouchable by a lot of. And there, was, there weren't really that many weapons that could touch the, um, the inkjet. So, um, they basically solved this by making the hitbox a little bit bigger. So that it's much, much more easier to hit the rain, the inkjet user. So that weapons like, um, arrow sprays, I think, would reach it. But, like, and then also they decrease the height, so it increases the chances of the... Something like the arrow spray or the sploosh matic to hit it. But, <laughs> again, let's remember that time where inkjet was the most broken special in the game. And it, even though they nerfed it to heck, it's still a ridiculously strong special. By all means. Dang, okay, this is bad. Yeah. That stinks. Wow, I was, there was a lot of matches where I put it against one of those people. Top 500 players trying to make, trying to ruin me. Trying to make me feel sad about myself. Can't believe they would do such a thing to me. I don't understand why you do this to me. It, it makes me feel sad. It makes me feel sad. Oh, that actually isn't relatively a bad score. That isn't relatively a bad score at all. I think that's a that's re that's pretty good. I think I think it's pretty good. It's it's pretty decent. It's it's a pretty it's it's a pretty good. And you, doctor, you are not helpful. And anyway, you make me feel sad. Very sad. I really want to do clamless, but I'm like not sure because I usually do like much worse at exactly this time Especially on camp trigger fish So I'm not actually for sure if I even want to do clam blitz, but I think I'll just do a little bit of turf war just to, just to Just to relax even though I kind of can't relax at the moment um, But I don't know which weapon to pick actually no I'm gonna pick my weapon based off of my gear. I already ran out of ideas <laughs> Um, I think I'm gonna use a charger related weapon actually, so we gotta use I you I naturally want to run that quick respawn because I don't Trust myself with chargers that often because I know how terrible I am. I actually no, I want to get the one with the uh The uh, this one right here is the one where I got like the littlest amount Quick super jump. I actually want to change that real quick. We gotta change that one perk to a quick super jump So it's uh, like a three in a row dude I mean, I already saw this drawing, but like, I really want to question why these, why you people out there just exist and draw so good. Oh, whoops. <laughs> also want to adjust it for, for whoever is this one person that wants to watch me. I do apologize for my lack of commentary. I'm not, 
the greatest when it comes to commentary at this time of hour. So it's like, awkward. And yeah. Alright, let's get practicing. All I know is that you want to lead your shots. Don't want people to know that you're shooting at them. Which even though is supposed to be the way you do it, it doesn't work. <laughs> at least it doesn't. It's like th those who are at higher play, they're going to jo they're going to dodge the charger the moment they even see one. They're not going to dodge it because they don't see the late. They're only It's not like they're only going to dodge if they see the late. They're going to dodge if they just see one in general. They're going to they're going to do everything they can to just get the heck out of the way. Oh, oh, whoa. I wanted to go to that stand, but nope. Then this Kensis splat roll just drops on me. I thought that was actually a uh, dynamo, but no. I'm so used to the training dummies, like how they constantly move forward. I keep forgetting this. These are not training dummies. They have a certain stop. They have a certain stop point. And see, this is why I put quick respawn on. Because I knew I probably would not even get a single person. I really want to get a good look on one of those people. I want to, I like, sprout out of nowhere and just attack them. Like right there. Nope. Nope. Every single one of those times failed. That is just unbelievable. Run over that. Run over that. Only my sprinkler can last. Wow! I got a good shot for once! I should have probably also equipped something with a uh, uh, swim speed. Because I think it would be nice to swim a little bit faster with the charger. I mean, even though the charger's mobility isn't really that bad. But, like, still. You want some mobility. So it's easy running. Oh, God, him again. Did those bubbles just reach me? Did those bubbles just reach me? I think those bubbles just reached me. Those people were waiting for me. You saw that. Those people were waiting for me. Jesus. Well, I guess we took that victory. And yoked, I guess. Yeah, see, look at that, too. And it was on the same guy, too. That was hilarious. It's on the umbrella, I think. Well, I guess my charger practicing days are gonna have to wait until the morning. Horrendous with chargers. So I want to play with a different weapon, but I also want to pick something, pick a gear that, uh, I need to use that would do me some benefit. And at the same time, I would like to level it up a little bit. But actually, but at the same time, it looks... My type of fancy. I don't want to pick this because it's, it's thermal ink is not good for me. Um, not. Wow, I don't know. I guess we're going with this. And even though I just realized that I picked the cancel splat charger again, doesn't matter. I guess we can go again. <laughs> even though I didn't even use my quick super jump at all. My quick super jump was mostly for the baller. I realized that this is supposed to be the kit. For Splat Zone specifically. And yeah. You know, I also looked up a Wikipedia. I also learned that these weapons, like the Splat Charger, the Splatter Shot, Splatter Shot Pro, they're based off of uh, toy guns. Which I think is interesting. Because that definitely explains why it gives this weird plastic looking look to it. Plastic looking design to it. Because it's based off of toys in real life which I think is kind of cool and definitely and again definitely does explain why I kind of like the uh why I definitely like the splatter shot pro and the splatter shot a little bit more than any other weapon although I'm kind of curious to what the jet sculpture actually is because I think I did read it I just like skipped it or something or I don't know but yeah I think it is really interesting how um weapons like those can just um exist Dang. Okay, I knew he was up there. I just didn't know he was that close. But as from the look of it, he's using Ninja Squid, so I should have just known from the get-go that he's a very suspicious type of roller. I'm gonna actually bait him out. What if I can bait him out? Like, just plant a sprinkler somewhere? Just, like, force him to come out? I wonder if that's a thing. Can I do that? Or is he not here? Probably not here. That's interesting. I thought he'd stay in that area. I thought he would be like me and just stay in that one area forever. I guess I was wrong. 
Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okie dokie. So, it turns out you were behind me. Okay. Alright. Let me just at least grab just the smallest bit of area. Oh, I thought I would hit that, but I guess not. Yeah, see, this is why I don't like chargers. They, I just can't play with them no matter how hard I try. Ugh, jeez. Maybe it's not all about... Oh, wait, wow. I was going to say something, but uh, I think I failed to do that. I was saying something on the bottom lines of it's not about, like, actually sniping them, like, just because you're standing up. It's all about sniping them through swimming. <coughs> That's not my thing. Ugh. Uh, Alright, let's pick a different weapon, please, before I pick the same weapon, make the same mistake, and just completely kill myself and all that stuff. Uh, I want to pick a decent weapon. I, I don't really like... I usually don't really like picking high-tier weapons. I don't know why. I usually love picking weapons that people just seem to underestimate most of the time. That's just me. Could just be me, but... I like picking weapons like these, like the the regular jet squelch, not the one with the burst bombs, just the one with toxic mist and uh, ten of missiles. Man, my back is itchy. And Instagram is hilarious. You ever go on one of those Instagrams, and you just like you get blown up by something in your face? Because it's like something that recently like happened and it's just like it's been blowing up like the Super Smash Bros. Direct Like that just blew up everywhere <laughs> It's no, well, no, I wouldn't say everywhere. I would say it's been blown up on my Instagram and Kind of my Twitter, but yeah, it was it's rather hilarious. All right Now this is the best part about um, Jet Sculptures. This is like a this is like easy mode of chargers Because like you don't have to like do that weird kind of shenanigans where you have to like try and keep your shots hidden and you get like like one chance of a shot you want to get as much free room as possible which is why I I like the jet sculpture better plus sometimes depending on what you can do you can play aggressive with it and all that types of stuff which now I think about it is the one thing that um, a lot of people see I, you know not a thing about it, I want that's the uh, the one thing that a lot of people see out trouble with with the regular jet sculptures that the custom one has burst bomb so it allows it purposely allows you to play aggressively but you know toxic mist you can't or maybe it's the idea that the jet sculpture has such a linear shot that you can be aggressive with it but like we know there's a lot of people that tend to like jump while shooting and that and then your shots just become super inaccurate that's something you want to do with like a splatter shot or a sploosh because like then because you have to be up close in their face in order to actually like you know do all the kinds of shenanigans oh my gosh wow okay but with the splatter shot pro now that I think about it it's more like a um for the splatter shot pro I guess the main reason why you also can play aggressively with it is because its shots are like ridiculously accurate not as accurate as the jet sculpture but when you're jumping with the splatter shot pro it's still pretty accurate so in the jet sculpture, when you jump, like, the shots just spread in by a lot. And there were definitely some times where it was, like, much worse. Where it would, like, completely spread, like, so wide. Like, it was just unbearable. And now with this, uh, with a few new buffs for the jet sculpture, jumping accuracy is not really a problem. I want that guy. There we go. That's all I wanted was that guy. <laughs> just picked him off. Pick him off. I just want his little, his little needle. Just want the littlest bit of a needle. Ah, <sighs> that's excellent. I got nothing really super special out of it, but like you know, it was handy dandy enjoyable. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get to going. Like this one dude named Brony Squid, or at least that's what I think his name is. It's rather hilarious. Oh, hold up. Hold up, mate. Hold up, mate. Okay, she is over there. I don't want her to get anywhere 
close to me in particular. Or whatever shooting at me over there. Okie dokie. Artichokey. Just want to be spraying over here. Put my little ink pellets over there. Because of that. And all that types of stuff. Oh no. I wonder if I can get something like that. There we go. Oh, I got someone named me again. Splatted me again. <laughs> if you say it out loud, it sounds a little ridiculous. Like, you're splatting yourself. But it's like, do you really need to splat yourself? Might. 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 Do you really need to splat yourself? Because that sounds... Now that you say that out loud, that sounds rather disgusting, might. Ooh, ooh, sorry. <laughs> I was just, uh, having a good time. <laughs> It's gonna be like stuff like that or something. It would be rather hilarious, but like, I don't know. Oh wow, okay. Okie dokie. Now I got this area intact. Wow, okay. That's a, apparently a thing. So that's just great. Oh, we're in danger apparently. I didn't even notice that. How are we even in danger? I got like a thousand points. Well, then again, if I got a thousand points, that probably means something on the bottom lines of, hey, you're the one that's doing good and everyone else is doing terrible. It's probably on the bottom lines of that or something, I don't know. That was probably not worth it at all. I just let him kill me like that. Oh, well, that's, that's just great, mate. That, that, that's just great, you know? Because, like, I mean, we could totally have a match where I got, like, that many points. Because oh I okay never mind we won. Although admittedly I'm not really getting a lot of splats, so I'm guessing that I uh might have to um pick another weapon. Um I actually don't know what to pick. I really want to pick something that I feel like I just don't use in gen oh it's just this one. It's probably this one right here. It's probably this one I don't often pick, but I don't know myself if I actually do that or not. So, let's just hope that I'm correct that this is just one of those weapons that I'm just not a big fan of. Me again. It is you again. I really want to pick the Kensa Splatter Shot Pro, but I'm like not 100% for sure if I want to. Cause like, it's a definitely a good weapon, but like, I feel like I've overused that weapon. Like, I've already collected like, 200,000 points, I think? And the weapon's been out for like a month? So, get the picture of that. That's just how much I really love the weapon. Oh, okie dokie. I mean, I guess I keep forgetting how lethal a uh, Booyah Bomb is. But it's not the same as Ink Storm, that's another thing. I'm trying to like see if I could somehow get to use my um I just can't believe I just killed her like that. Okay. <gasps> can't believe I just got to kill her like that. Oh man, I was kind of I was trying to like lead my shot to get it to where it lined up with her inkling or her zona. Just so I can hit her. With the direct. But then I didn't. I was too late. Oh, but I guess that Sung Shin Bomb worked. Ah. Really? Umi? Umi? You say Umi? You say Umi? There we go. I guess I really don't really need quick respawn for this weapon in particular since I'm like kind of getting to places without needing to die. So I guess it's okay for me. She should have died right there. She totally should have died. Actually, one more time. Bidding. Alrighty. Probably gonna do my like my last match till I like end this Twitch stream because it's getting nowhere. <laughs> I'm definitely premiering this on YouTube so that people I can advertise to people that hey my my uh my Twitch uh account exists so uh, go check it out. All right, so uh, yeah, let's just use the Kansas Spot Show Pro. I got nothing else to pick.
What do I say other than let's just get started? All the types of stuff. <laughs> hey, that one dude over there who thinks he can take this weapon from me. <laughs> you got another thing coming up for you. <gasps> hey, that is illegal for someone to just sneak up on someone's back like that. I will show you how illegal it is by killing you. And I'll show you how illegal it is for you to think you can surf along a curling bomb like that. Where's that other one? Where's your other friend? I want to show him to... Oh, never mind. There's your Splatoshop Pro friend. And then there is you. Wow, just squid bagging me like that. Jeez Louise, the people that do that. Thinking that they're... I wonder why people still do that, actually. I wonder if they're just completely aware. I wonder if they're completely aware of the consequences that could potentially happen. I mean, I knew that reporting someone, it just means that you're being sensitive. But, like, calling someone... Actually, now that I think about it... Making fun of someone for reporting someone over, you know, squid backing is a little bit of a hypocrite of them. If if there are people that do that. Wow, really? From the same woman? Like, two, three times already, actually. No, you know what? I'm getting that roller. I'm getting you. Yeah, exactly. You got nothing on me once you're exposed to yellow ink. Blue ink. Inkling. Or octoling, actually. Be technical. Hold up, someone is behind me. It's that roller thinking that she's so slick with that roller of hers. Oh shoot. It's more of the slickers. Alright, hold up. I want as like much area in front of me for like mostly for like one reason because it's like a lot of it in front of me. And yeah. But, I mean, we did it, and yeah. So that's just fabulous. Yeah, we, we, we did it. That, that's all I can say. We, we did it. We did it, fams. We did it. <laughs> we did it, fams. Famalams. We just did it. And he yoked. Well, I guess that's the end of this stream or this premiere or whichever one you guys are watching it from. Because, uh, this is. Th this, this, this existed. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoy watching this, uh, strange, strange video. If you did. Or strange stream, at least. If you did. Um, <laughs> don't listen to my burps. Uh, subscribe to me on Twitch if you would like to get rare and random ranked mostly ranked battle streams that i naturally would do not on youtube because every time i do streams on youtube people demand me to you know um go some private battles so yeah anyways guys hope you enjoy watching this uh stream if you did uh again subscribe to me on twitch because i'm live streaming this on twitch technically and uh i'll see you guys whatever we do next so take care, everyone, and God bless you all. Oh, hey, hey, oh,